The US government realized it's in danger of losing the AI race and they are breaking their own rules to fix it. First, you have to understand the national labs, places like Oak Ridge and Argonne. Born from the Manhattan Project, these are the crown jewels of American science. They manage our nuclear stockpile, crack fusion energy, and fight pandemics. But there's a problem. Historically, it takes the government five years to design and build a supercomputer. Meanwhile, companies like Amazon, Microsoft and Elon Musk's XAI are building more powerful systems in just months. The money gap is crazy. Microsoft is spending $7 billion on one AI site. A top national lab supercomputer usually costs just $600 million. The government literally cannot move fast enough. Supercomputers are room-sized machines that have historically been used to create simulations of complex processes. They use thousands of processor chips and high-speed networks, with the silicon components working together like one vast electronic brain. So, according to the New York Times, the labs are pivoting to a Silicon Valley strategy. No more slow bureaucracy. They are cutting deals directly with NVIDIA and AMD. Here is the wild part tech giants are now paying for some of the hardware in exchange for shared access. A new NVIDIA system at Argonne will handle more calculations per second than the 500 largest supercomputers combined. NVIDIA and Oracle first plan to deliver an AI system Equinox, with 10,000 of NVIDIA's coveted Blackwall processors. They later expect to deliver Solstice, powered by 100,000 chips. NVIDIA helped galvanize the action last month when Jensen Huang, its chief executive, unveiled plans for seven Department of Energy supercomputers. A day earlier, Oak Ridge announced two AMD-powered machines. Lisa Su, the chief executive of AMD, offered to build a machine in just several months at Oak Ridge if the lab provided a location and maintained the system. I'm going to pay for it, I'm going to build it, and then we're going to split the use of it. This means AI can help us discover new drugs, batteries, and power plants years faster. But it also means big tech is getting cozy inside government labs. It's efficient, but is it safe? Do you think public science should rely on private tech giants? Let me know in the comments.